today we've done a bit of running around trying to get the right worming medication for the chickens. Um, this was recommended by our vet, but the vet's one was out of date, so we had to find another stock feeders that was open on a Saturday after lunch. Um, and we couldn't find one because it's the country. Um, but we did find a pet shop that stocked this. It's a very good pet shop that I like using in our major town. Um, and this is the biggest size I had and the only one they had. So um, I need more than this, but this is all I could get my hands on. Um, so you usually put this in their water um, and then you kind of, you starve them off water overnight and then you put this in their water and um, you leave the water with them for eight hours and then you get rid of the water and they should have had enough of their worming dose. But um, because I want to treat all our chickens, we've got over 100 chickens, um, I did some research and I found that you can direct dose with this. So we'll be syringing each bird um, through the mouth um, but we've got to weigh them and figure out the right dosage per bird. Um, so I'm hoping I can do more birds with that, um, doing it this way. So if I was to use all of this in water, I'd only get two and a half litres and that's nowhere near enough what I need. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be doing it direct, um, directly to each bird, if that makes sense. But our chicken that wasn't doing so well last night, um, I gave her some human herbal wormer. Um, I did some research and it had all the same ingredients as the chicken equivalent. Um, this one's from a naturopath and anyway, I was going to use it for myself just because I wanted to do a cleanse. Living on the farm with all these animals, I thought that it would be wise to um, do a cleanse. Anyway, I haven't got around to it because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of detoxing. I've detoxed once before and it's horrible. It's really, really horrible. Um, and I just didn't have the energy to go through that at the moment. So um, I had it in my cupboard and we gave her a few drops. And usually when a chicken or a chick or a duckling or a guinea fowl has been so severe that we've noticed their worm load, um, they usually die within about 45 minutes. So we were waiting for her to die. But instead, she's back to normal, so we're really, really pleased, which gives us great confirmation that um, herbal is going to work for us, natural is going to work for us, which is the route we want to take because um, natural medicine is what we go to first. So we decided that we will do a chemical worm first. We're, we're going to do a chemical worm for our sheep. We had their, um, a fecal sample done. And they've got a moderate load. It's been about six months, six months since um, we wormed them last or drenched them last. So we're going to do one last chemical drench, um, and then we're going to give some of this to our pigs as well because this is a chicken and pig wormer. Um, and then yeah, do all our chickens. And then once we feel like we've got the worm load down chemically, um, hopefully it will only be one dose, especially if we clean out their bedding and their environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera that we can maintain monthly or quarterly with herbs. Um, herbs like black walnuts and um, oregano or thyme and wormwood or, and clove, all those sorts of um, natural anti-parasitic herbs. We can get a tincture either made up or we can make it up ourselves. I'll probably start by buying it in. Um, and yeah, control parasites naturally. So. Oh, the things that you learn when you move to a farm. So we're just weighing each bird. This is pirate chicken. And she weighs 1.87. She's also pirate chicken. Can't take that in my face. Mm -hmm. 
no tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Did she drink cool of it? Yeah. So we're about to do the geese, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> oh, they're so nice. They're kind of pets, are Okay. Thank there you go, you. Israel. You might have to stand back a bit. You know what I say? Seven and a half. I smell it, Mummy. Mum. No, you can't smell this stuff. Oh, And now the guinea fowl. Aren't Whoa. they cute? Oh, oh. They you, can you film that please? They look like a clown. They are a clown. A vulture clown. Hello. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hello. Good to her? Yeah. Oh, what? Your number, your hands in the way. I I got a camera is really good camera.